Government of Mariano Rajoy. Este conflicto que tanto sufrimiento y tanta zozobra y tanta inestabilidad está generando en la región y también en el mundo. We proclaim that this conflict that is generating so much suffering, so much anxiety and so much instability in the region and in the world will only be resolved when, as the United Nations and the Cortes Generales say, the two states, Israel and Palestine, are recognized so that they can coexist in peace and security. Mr. Sanchez is currently campaigning ahead of an investiture vote to remain Prime Minister for the next four years. To win, he will need the support of other parliamentary groups outside of his own socialist party. In recent weeks, he has been in talks with the Catalan separatist party, with possible amnesty for jail separatist leaders, and an independence referendum on the table. On Monday, his biggest ally, leftist party Suma, has requested the Spanish government recognize the Palestinian state as a condition for the support in the upcoming investiture. In the 10 days since Hamas attacks on Israel, 1,400 Israelis have been killed and the number of Palestinians killed in this conflict has escalated to over 2,600. The United Nations estimates that 600,000 Gazans have already moved to the center and south of the street, where the situation is unsustainable without water, electricity or medicine. Marta Lorenzo is of the United Nations and on Spanish national radio she asked for an humanitarian corridor to be opened so that fuel could urgently enter the Strip. She said that a lot of people chose to stay in northern Gaza after the Israeli evacuation order as they had no other choice and that nowhere was safe. A todo el mundo está en peligro, hemos perdido ya 14 de nuestros trabajadores humanitarios y cuando yo digo instalaciones a lo que me refiero es una escuela, es una clínica, o incluso nuestras oficinas centrales. Everyone is in danger, she said. We've lost 14 of our own workers and when I talk about places that have been attacked, I'm talking about schools, clinics, even our own offices. Another conflict with no end in sight is the war in Ukraine. This Monday marks 600 days since the Russian invasion and the conflict has completely stalled. 